Okay, what I'd like to do now is just give you a brief introduction into the use of RStudio. I've already downloaded and installed it, accepting all of the defaults, and you can see here's my um, desktop icon for RStudio. So I'm just going to double click that right, so that we get the, the default view. So when you first open RStudio, uh, it will look like this. There will be three areas. There's a uh, console window, which is showing you exactly the same as what you would see inside uh, an R project, or an R, a normal invocation of R. There's um, a window down here in the corner, which handles, which shows you what's available in the um, directory, the current working directory, uh, gives you, uh, shows you where the plot, what plots are available, and also help appears down here. And then in this corner, we see two things. One is a, going to be a list of the objects that are in the workspace, and there aren't any when we open it. And um, a command history that is, uh, allows you to go back and see which kinds of things we have. The way we're going to use our studio is uh, by creating projects. So. What I'm going to do, you, up here in this top right-hand corner, there is a button, a drop-down menu for projects. And we're going to click Project, New Project. And um, we've got three options then, um, only two of which are going to be relevant for this course. The first is the New Directory option. And what this says is we don't have a directory where we're going to store the files for the project, so it'll create one for us. The second option is for an existing directory. What I'm going to do is click the existing directory option, uh, which is going to show me a new uh, little dialog box, and I will click Browse to find the directory that I want to work on. And the directories where I, I've got mine stored on an external drive, so I'm just going to drill down to where we're going to be working here. And um, this directory using R is where I'm going to so click Select Folder. And we'll see now that it's filled in the path here for us. And then we're just going to simply click Create Project. Now what's going to happen is it's going to close the previous one and change the working directory, and then reopen in that working directory. So now you can see I have a whole list of, of files now that were present in that directory. These are the files with which I've been uh, developing the, the course materials. And uh, we're back to having nothing in the workspace. Click on the history. We'll see we've got nothing in the history. This is a new project. We've done no R commands. And, um, and then at that point, we can uh, close and exit this um, project. So we'll quit R. R Studio disappears. And um, what we're going to do now in the future, rather than go straight to uh, the R Studio link here, although, um, the other way that we can open up things is by going into the uh, um, directory that we had, and so here I am, and so, and you'll see down at the bottom here is this file using R, which is uh, got a type of R project. So we can just double click that R project file, R Studio will open, and we'll be right back where we were before with the relevant um, files available over here and ready to go.